Hey guys, I wanted to show you um, something new we're doing with our ATEM switcher. Uh, we are using macros to help us navigate um, uh, a lot of different switching of cameras and inputs uh, without actually having to put fingers on every single uh, change we need to make. So this will cover changing the audio inputs, changing uh, video outputs to lobby TVs, to your program, your preview, transition time. Let's get into it. All right, so um, I have a the ATEM switcher software open. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my macros button. So this is where all the magic happens right here. So I'm gonna click my macros button. And what you're gonna see is uh, right now we have uh, five macros. Uh, in the future, we may have more. But as I click on these buttons, we kind of do this over here so you can see. I mean, first I'm gonna click on the run button. And then, or run tab, and when I click on a button, I have a play button. I hit play. You'll notice that my preview and program just switched, and probably my audio changed as well from XLR, which is all the audio we get from our, our broadcast audio tech, uh, to camera seven, which means that we're just getting audio from our camera seven. Um, camera. <laughs> so uh, camera 7, that's a, not really a new camera, but it's a repurposed camera. We took the big JVC, we stuck in the lobby so that we can do pre and post uh, recaps of the service. So pre, like a pre-welcome to our online congregation, and then after service, we'll do like a recap of the sermon with our online congregation. So just a way to engage them a little bit better. Um, so obviously we need audio coming from that camera because there's two microphones back there as you can see in this this uh, picture and um, two microphones back there they'll be talking on them so we need a way to be able to switch inputs really quickly um, and with a click of a button we can put uh, everything we need to in program we can change our lobby TVs uh, to just what's going out to the projector so that you know, they're not all of a sudden appearing on the lobby TVs because that won't make sense because it's just for the online audience. So we want our lobby TVs to uh, kind of stay out of this. In other words, you know, when our lobby TVs, try, we need to be able to control them uh, so that uh, for the in-person experience, those TVs are serving uh, that, uh, that congregation. Does that make sense? Okay. So we have the lobby cam pre, which just stands for pre-service. We'll go to that. Um, after the end of our, well, right now what we're going to do is go to that right after the end of our opener video. So once that opener video, uh, which we're using the Bible overview videos, once that overview video is finished and it hits zero, we hit uh, the lobby cam pre button and we hit play. That immediately takes the shot of our camera in the lobby, sends it to program, changes to the audio source, and all that goes to OBS. Um, so you don't really have to do anything. That's the beauty of it. Um, when that's done, we'll go ahead and have this English worship button on standby. We'll hit play, and you can see over here in the audio tab, um, it switched back over to our broadcast audio text audio, and the switcher went to camera one and preview three. And then we also changed the, the rate to point one, which will mean that we're doing cuts instead of transitions between shots. Um, we also have a few more here. We have um, the Espanol rehearsal option here. And then we have the Espanol worship option. And then we have the lobby cam post, which what that's gonna do is once again, allow us to um, switch back over to our guys in the lobby, guys or gals in the lobby who are the hosts of the online service. Hope that makes sense. Macros, I have a feeling, will be even more important in the future. Um, so we got to learn it now. It's really simple. We just have to know what macro to go to, and, and we have to go to it uh, in a timely manner. So hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, let me know. Thanks, guys.